that a woman's place is in a kitchen making a sandwich or that a man's place is in a garage working on a car, then you would probably support students being separated by gender in order to learn better. However, this is not the best thing for the students. Students should experience co-educational schools rather than single-sex schools. Single-sex schools are found to promote sexism, the students get fewer experiences, and the students develop poor social skills. Right? However, in co-educational schools, they do the opposite. The students get to experience the, the diversity that they will experience for the rest of their life, and they get to strengthen their social skills. First, I will discuss the reasons why learning in single-sex schools is not beneficial for students. The first reason is that they pr promote sexism. <coughs> girls think that they are better than boys, and the boys think that they are better than girls. When boys and girls are taught under separate roofs, they often wrongly conclude that their gender is better than the other. And at single-sex schools, they also get fewer experiences than in co-educational schools. For example, in single-sex schools, they might ha not have school dances or proms or clubs, and overall, the students will miss out on a lot of things. And the students also develop poor social skills. In an article by Jen Saunders, it said that 62.5% of students surveyed who happen to be from single-sex schools said that they thought having a one gender school did limit their social skills, especially towards the opposite gender. And also segregated, segregated students wonder why they were seg segregated. Overall, segregating students makes them miss opportunities to work with the opposite gender and develop their social skills. Next, I will discuss why co-educational schools are the better choice. According to an article from St. Joseph's, Co Joseph's College, co-educational schools reflect the diversity of the society. We work with different people and different races and different personalities and different opinions and different cultures. It is also easier for the students to fit in. We know because we all go to a co-educational school, we know that there are a lot of different types of groups and cliques and there's always something for somebody. And also, according to St. Joseph's College, the students become more confident in themselves. Now I will put this into perspective. Imagine you have a daughter and you put her through an all-girl school for whatever reason. She graduates from an all-girl college and she gets a job say, being a saleswoman. Your daughter, because she went to an all-girl school, she may not be able to sell to males like she would be able to sell to females because of her poor social skills. This may cause your daughter to lose her job. <coughs> in California in 1997, the nation's biggest pilot program occurred. This occurred over a three year period and they separated boys and girls into different buildings but they were still like on the same campus. The study found that the, the distractions were not reduced and the gender stereotypes were still enforced. According to this article, the separation of separate academies for boys and girls on the same campus led to a dichotomous understanding of gender where girls were seen as good and boys were seen as bad. Dichotomous means divided you were wondering and be, this quote is basically saying that because the students were divided they believe that the gender should always be divided like wherever they go because that's all they know but in conclusion single-sex students are more put at more of a disadvantage than students in co-educational schools <coughs> the single-sex students are taught that uh, sexism is okay and they also get fewer experiences and they develop poor social skills. Uh, Co-educational students experience the, the diversity of the real, real world. So they get to experience different genders, different races, different personalities, and different cultures like we do here. They, it is also easier for them to fit in and they, be, they can become more confident in themselves. Single-sex schools have become more popular recently, but they really shouldn't be. Hopefully if we start if they start declining now, we won't we won't have to have two options when we go to put our own kids through school. But if we do have those two options, I urge you all to put your put your kids through co educational schools unless you want them to basically never have a job. said about like 20 years ago they there was like a lot but since then they've been declining so I think there's probably probably 50 tops I'd say so I don't know the whole lot 
does the single sex education start from like primary school or does it start in middle school, high school? Um, I think it's mostly high schools and colleges, but I'm not really sure about like elementary schools and middle schools. And most of them they go yeah. together with boys and girls until high school. Maybe they went through it themselves and they think it's better, but if, if, they, if they didn't go through it themselves, they would probably put them through just because they may not, they may want them to be more like um, <coughs> adaptive with their same gender, maybe not the opposite gender, because they probably have something against it. All right, thank you.